Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Nubia. I am in recovery. I am reading out of our daily bread devotional. All the way from Anoka, Minnesota. Today is December 29th. Friday, December 29th. James chapter 1, verses 1 through 12. God bless those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Patiently endure. All right. The crown of life. A 12-year-old 12, 12 Lee Adianes Rodriguez Espada was worried that she'd be late for a 5K run, just over three miles. Her anxiousness led her to take off with a group of runners 15 minutes earlier than her start time. With, part with participants on the half marathon more than 13 miles, Lia Dianes fell in pace with other runners and put one foot in front of the other. At mile four, with the finish line nowhere in sight, she realized that she was in a longer and more difficult race. Instead of dropping out, she simply kept running. The accidental half marathoner completed her 13.1 mile race and paced 18 and placed 1885th out of two one out of 2111 finishers now that's perseverance while undergoing persecution many first century believers in jesus wanted to drop out of the race for christ but james encouraged them to keep running if they patiently endure testing god promised a double reward first perseverance will finish its work so they could be mature and complete not lacking anything second god will give them the crown of life life in jesus on earth and the promise of being in his presence in the life to come what a promise that is huh some days a christian race feels like it's not the one we sign up for it's something longer and more difficult than we than we expected but as god provides what we need we can persevere and keep on running marie williams thank you marvin how do i relate to this reading i am god bless those who patiently endure testing and temptation um i got stuck on that um the race um, is definitely perseverance and I guess what you're trying to say is how we persevere during our testing and temptations what came to mind is how when I am being tested or I'm being tempted especially when I'm being tempted that I have to remember to pray and I have to remember to ask God to take me out of that temptation to take me out of that situation if I don't want to sin if I really don't want to sin I have to ask because I cannot do it on my own because that's what my that's that's natural for me to sin right to not sin will be unnatural so I need his help so that I can walk his path I need him to help me not sin. I need him to take me away from those situations. And if I find myself in that situation, I need to stop and pray because he can do it. I can't. He can take me out of there. Me by myself, I won't be able to. So that's what came to mind. Um, thank you. What difficulty am I enduring right now? Right now, I'm enduring the difficulty of being patient and waiting for his will to manifest in my life that's the difficulty i'm doing I'm going through right now and um as long as it takes because his time is divine so yeah what can i do to remain faithful to god as i undergo testing pray and remember that his ways are higher than mine. Remember that. I don't want to fail him. I don't want to disappoint him. So I need to ask. I need to ask him. I need to come to him with that and tell him, I don't want to disappoint you. I don't want to fail you. Help me. So I don't do that. And he will. He does. 
he has. So that's why he's so amazing because he helps me with everything, even with the parts that I didn't think he could help me with. I mean, now that I th say it out loud, it seems kind of silly, but when I'm being tempted, when I'm about to sin, or I know it's going to be something like that, I ask him, you know, and it's like, how is he going to, he, he's, he's testing me, you know, so just by coming to him, and, and that's it, that's the secret recipe, coming to him, see how it gets darker, and then lighter, yeah, the sun is almost down, all right, what can I do to remain faithful to God? As I undergo testing. Oh, I just, I just said that. You know, ask him. Ask him to help me remain strong and to take me away because I don't want to fail him. Not even, not even the chance. Dear God, my legs are tired and I feel like giving up. Please strengthen me. Amen. That's it. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day. See you later. Bye.